So this is Colton, the darker of the three brindles. This is Ainsley and Huli, my two. Um, what I've gotten to experience with Colton over the last couple days, he uh, hasn't shown any signs of dominance or aggression. He's very, uh, very considerate to um, to being led. He doesn't uh, doesn't tug or pull. Um, you know, apply you know just a little bit of boundaries. He's very pick up and play. You know, he doesn't really uh, take on too much inspiration from the other dogs as far as their excitement goes. Um, he's very conscious of what they're doing uh, as far as um, you know learning from them and things like that. You know, but as you can see, he's extremely extremely light on the leash. You know, I'm holding it with one finger really, you know, nothing more. Same with my dogs. Uh, I am pretty demanding that he not pull, but like I said, that, that gets you access to, to, to walk him like this. So, you know, I, um, I may not let him mark, you know, every tree we come to, uh, just so that um, he takes a little more pride in my leadership when I do let him stop. From what I've seen, as long as he has some consistent rules, consistent boundaries, um, and certainly, you know, you provide food and water when he's lit, when he's listened to you, and not just, uh, you know, giving all the love and affection in the world beforehand. Um, he seems to do really well. You know, he walks with them you know, very well. Does uh, Colton come here? Does good coming back to you. Doesn't uh, doesn't put up a fuss. Um, certainly hasn't had the most activity in the world. So keeping him um, keeping him challenged, or uh, keeping challenging him, making sure he's learning consistently. Uh, he hasn't had a lot of those opportunities. So this is really a nice um, a nice element for a new owner who really wants to. Uh, you know, be demanding of their animal and get exactly what they want out of that relationship, you could have that with him. Um, you know, like I said, I don't let him mark everything, so he takes a lot of pride uh, in marking when I allow that opportunity. Um, th this does show my leadership towards him, too, so he gets a lot of confidence in me that, you know, he needs to follow me and he can get exactly uh, what he needs. With all those things being said, you know, I've fed them. Hey, come here. I've fed them. Uh, I fed them all right beside each other. I've always had, uh, you know, pretty, pretty, you know, stable pack feeding. So nobody gets food aggressive at my house. As well as, uh, you know, I keep, um, I keep everybody extremely close together when they eat, um, just to challenge that exact, uh, to challenge that fact. But. Um, from what I've seen, this guy should make a beautiful, beautiful uh, pet for somebody. Um, he's an awesome companion. He really loves to uh, loves to snuggle up with you and love on you. You know, um, very laid back though. Um, certainly, when when people get excited, he he definitely takes on that inspiration, gets excited himself. Um, but uh, you know, around other dogs, doesn't really carry the same um, same energy. You know, when my dogs get really excited, he doesn't, um, he doesn't really get too hype. He kind of keeps his cool, does his own thing. Um, he's a big self-soother. You know, he hasn't had a lot of uh, interaction with other dogs, let alone a lot of free space. You know, he's been in a kennel for a while. So, um, you know, it's normal for him to do his own thing. With that, you know, being that he's only been in a kennel, he doesn't really know a lot about the world, so he needs good, strong leadership to kind of show him, you know, what, what is normal. Uh, everything that I've done in repetition has become normal to him. Uh, you know, he should uh, he should have those consistent boundaries to kind of guide him through. Um, of course, if you let him, uh, 
If you just let him go and let him do his own thing, he may run into some trouble just simply because he doesn't understand or may not know what to do. Uh, things could make him nervous probably pretty easily considering the lack of exposure he's had uh, to some of those common elements like, you know, meeting other dogs or uh, being introduced into a pack. Um, he hasn't really had the, uh, the opportunity to get around a lot of dogs, but in that same aspect as long as someone's you know guiding him through those elements i feel like he'll uh he'll do a really good job with a new family um everything that i've seen from him is, is very typical uh of an instinctively sound dog nothing i've seen shows uh shows signs of um you know over possession dominance aggression anything uh that, that would be typical to um you know, an issue uh, that, that somebody could have. I mean, maybe the only thing that uh, that he does, he might, he jumps a little bit, he gets a little excited. Uh, his, he'll put his feet up on you. Um, he, uh, but, but as soon as, you know, you snap your fingers and make a little noise, he, he understands uh, that he's crossing a boundary, so he, he jumps right down. Typically, he does a lot of, uh, um, he sits down you know, uh, when he's confused or when a lot of things are moving around around him, I've seen him just do, just sit down on his own. Um, so he understands patience. Um, he understands that that gets him, uh, gets him more than being, uh, impatient. You know, the jumping and things like that, that show, you know, just impatience. Uh, so he's learned that fairly quickly. Cool. Here, you know, comes right to me. Um, Strong leadership, though. Of course, he uh, he's going to need that, considering he just hasn't had uh, the interaction that he that he should have had. But um, I, I, I love this dog. I think he's an incredible animal. Certainly, extremely calm on the leash. I can have him stop. You know, sits right in his tracks. Doesn't move a muscle. Um, he's a really good dog. Really good dog. Somebody'd be lucky to have him. An active lifestyle, uh, a very you know calm, uh, inactive lifestyle. Uh, children, I feel like he had cats. They he do he do well. We've been around some cats. He hasn't reacted. Um, just a good guy. I feel like he'll um, he'll do a great job at anything athletic. Um, certainly from the from the uh, crate he's got uh, he gets fatigued fairly fast um, he certainly can't keep up with my two just yet um, you know on the run or anything like that I've I've gotten a chance to ride a skateboard around him uh, even walked him on the skateboard let him run full speed a little while doesn't react to noises um, you know I haven't seen any kind of nervous uh, nervous things he does just from sounds alone so you know, I think uh, I think this guy will be a great dog for somebody who uh, who enjoys being a little bit active, especially if he's got uh, you know some other dogs to be around. I think that'll be a good thing. I think it'll be good for him to be around some other dogs. One of the things that I would stress for a new owner, if you have other dogs, try not to show too much favoritism. That can counteract. Uh, you know the whole pack mentality being around other dogs that um, are getting a special treatment um, you know that that actually divides and detaches um, the, the new dog from the pack so you really want to be honest with yourself about providing a consistent home for all of your dogs not just uh, not just the um, not just the new dog and or not just your old dog you really want to provide consistency because that will show uh you know colton a, a lot of, of respect which in turn will get his trust um uh his trust to you i see this guy doing a really great job though and i think uh he's gonna enjoy a new home pretty soon what do you think boy what do you think Huh? Yeah. <laughs> He's a good guy, though. Y'all take care. Whoever gets him, you're a lucky person. We'll see you soon.
This is Brad Rogerson.